So what was the most exciting announcement for Mac gamers at WWDC? It wasn't the fact that we're getting a new successor M2 chip, which is going to be 39% faster than the original M1. And it's not the fully redesigned MacBook Air coming with the M2 chip. And it's not even the surprise announcement that we're getting AAA games like Resident Evil Village ported to Apple Silicon Macs. But in reality, the thing that's going to change Mac gaming the most is the fact that we now have an update to the Metal Graphics API called Metal 3. And this update is going to have a huge impact on the future of gaming on the Mac, not only with ports of AAA games, which are made native to Apple Silicon, but also with compatibility layers like crossover and virtual machine software like Parallels, as well as other gaming software like Game Emulators 2. And today I'm going to tell you why Metal 3 is going to transform gaming on a Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So if you didn't already know, Metal is Apple's proprietary graphics API, and it's the underlying technology which allows games to run whether it's on a Mac, on iPhone, iPad or on Apple TV. However, the majority of games that have been built for Windows PCs use different APIs, namely Vulkan or something like DirectX 12. And historically, Metal version 1 and version 2 have lacked some of the key features of say DirectX 12, which have made games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 virtually impossible to port to the Mac. However, this looks like it's all set to change with Apple's introduction of the new Metal Graphics API version 3. At WWDC, Apple introduced Metal FX upscaling, and this has a lot in common with, say, AMD's FSR or NVIDIA's DLSS, which is a method of rendering a game at, say, a lower resolution like 1080p and then upscaling it to 4K with minimal loss of image quality. And Apple also introduced the Fast Resource Loading API, which dramatically improves game streaming performance, which is very similar to Microsoft's Direct Storage Streaming. And both of these new features really show that Metal 3 is coming closer and closer to feature parity with modern graphics APIs like Vulkan and DirectX 12. But the real proof comes in the form of two out of the three AAA games that were announced at WWDC. And the first one is No Man's Sky. And this has been previously incompatible with M1 Mac hardware due to the fact that it uses the Vulkan graphics API. But thanks to whatever features have now been implemented in Metal 3, it looks like a port is now possible and is coming soon onto macOS and iPad. Furthermore, we have the game Resident Evil Village, which on Windows is a DirectX 12 title. And this has been incompatible with compatibility layers like Crossover or Virtual Machines software like Parallels so far. But now that this game is getting a Metal port and it's going to run great on Apple Silicon Mac hardware, it really shows that Metal 3 is coming closer and closer to feature parity with DirectX 12. And not only is Resident Evil Village based on DirectX 12, it also uses the RE engine. And this potentially paves the way for other games using that engine to work on the M1 Mac in the future, games like Monster Hunter Rise and also Street Fighter 6. And if these games can be ported, what about other DirectX 12 titles? For example, Halo Infinite, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Cyberpunk 2077. Now realistically, most game studios are not going to go back and port their games to the Mac. Part of the reason is this technical barrier that we've been talking about. However, because Mac represents a small percentage of the desktop market, then there isn't that much of a commercial incentive to bring some of these big Windows AAA games to the Mac. And therefore, we have to rely on compatibility layers like Crossover or something like Windows 11 ARM running under a virtual machine under Parallels. And Apple's new Metal version 3 can potentially transform the compatibility and performance performance of these two methods of running Windows games on the Apple Silicon Mac. So at the time of recording, both of these methods are completely incompatible with DirectX 12. However, with games like Resident Evil Village showing that there is a path from DirectX 12 to Metal, this now shows that Crossover and Parallels could have the potential to take advantage of some of Metal 3's features and bring DirectX 12 compatibility to the Apple Silicon Mac. And in another example, many Unreal Engine 4 games don't work on Crossover and will only display a black screen. And this is due to the fact that Metal version 2 does not support geometry shaders. And this is also one of the major reasons why DirectX 12 support has not yet come to crossover. And Codeweavers have previously stated that without a major change in Metal, then implementing support for geometry shaders will be impossible. However, it looks like with Metal version 3, we now have the answer in the form of mesh shaders. So if companies like Codeweavers can figure out how to implement mesh shaders, then this could potentially add compatibility with hundreds of Unreal 4 engine games, and maybe even thousands of DirectX 12 games that get Released in the future. And it doesn't just stop there. These changes to Metal 3 also affect other projects like Game Emulators 2. So if you tried emulating games on the Mac, you'll know that several high profile emulators are missing. For example, two of the most prominent ones are Yuzu, which is a Switch emulator, and Simu, which is the Wii U emulator. And one of the main reasons that these emulators haven't been ported to the Mac is that they've been built with the Vulkan graphics API in mind first. And porting to Metal version 2 has been impossible since it lacks some of the features that Vulkan uses. However, this could 
easily change with the introduction of Metal 3, as this brings more and more feature parity with Vulkan, and there's also the potential for huge improvements in compatibility with open source graphics solutions like Molten VK. And what this does is that it translates Vulkan into Metal, and now that the Metal 3 documentation has been released, we could potentially see huge improvements in Molten VK, which in turn will improve the chances of emulators like Yuzu and Simu coming to the Apple Silicon Mac. So with all the changes that have been announced with Metal version 3, it looks like the future of gaming on the Mac is getting better and better every day. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. Do you think that other AAA games are going to be ported to the Mac in the future? I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.